physical modeling synthesis is the ultimate sound recreation tool. Not even sample-based synthesis can touch the feel and dexterity of a good physical modeling synthesizer. The beauty of physical modeling synthesis, however, is that not only is it an amazing sound recreation tool, it's also an extremely powerful synthesis format in its own right when recreating never-before-heard sounds. Physical modeling synthesis basically uses complex algorithms to mimic the way sound is affected through various mediums. In other words, physical modeling recreates the physical properties of instruments which determine the instrument's sound. By concentrating on an instrument's physical properties, the resultant sound is much more natural. The downside, however, is that traditional keyboard skills do not transfer to physical modeling synthesis like they do to other formats. When using a physical modeling synthesizer, the synthesis needs to approach playing in a different way to create believable instrument sounds. With experience in a good physical modeling synth, though, the most natural instrument emulations can be created. Let's briefly dive into some of the concepts behind physical modeling synthesis. First off, there are a few forms of synthesis which are combined to create physical modeling synthesizers. These forms are waveguide synthesis, modal synthesis, McIntyre, Schumacher, and Woodhouse synthesis, or MSW for short, and finally Karplus Strong synthesis, or KS synthesis. Waveguide synthesis relates to how sound travels through a physical medium. For example, think of a clarinet. Once vibrations are created via the reed, the sound waves travel through the body of the clarinet and affect the resulting sound. This is what waveguide synthesis attempts to mimic. Modal synthesis relates to the frequency changes that happen to sound as it moves through a physical medium. So using the Fourier theorem, modal synthesis attempts to deconstruct sounds to their individual harmonics and resynthesize them. While modal synthesis focuses on the frequency domain of vibrating objects, MSW synthesis focuses on the time domain of vibrating objects. Finally, KS synthesis concentrates on the way in which frequencies and their amplitudes fall directly after a short percussive sound. KS synthesis is mainly used in plucked string and drum physical modeling. Using a time-dependent filter algorithm, KS synthesis can recreate the way sound decays instantly after a string is plucked with extreme accuracy. Each of these synthesis techniques are used in physical modeling synthesizers in order to create a virtual model of a particular instrument and the way sound is physically affected by it. Another form of physical modeling synthesis is known as analog modeling. Analog modeling synthesis employs similar techniques to mimic the way in which analog subtractive synthesizers sound. Because analog modeling recreates the various components of an analog synthesizer, the results are much better sounding than sampled analog synths as well as digital subtractive synthesizers. One major benefit to analog modeling over digital subtractive synthesis can be heard on filter sweeps. Analog modeling synths will typically have a smooth response when compared to the step-like response of a digital filter. As I stated earlier, physical modeling synthesis isn't only good for recreating instruments. In fact, I believe the real power of physical modeling synthesis lies in its ability to create new and never-before-heard sounds. Using the various algorithms available in physical modeling synthesis, we can create extremely interesting sounds that have various physical properties to them that sound like nothing that exists in the physical world. I'm going to concentrate on this aspect of physical modeling synthesis in the following tutorial videos.